Hello everyone. So here we are today. We are going to learn two topics today. The first one is delegation and the second one is decentralization. Now both these topics are very simple topics. So I thought let me combine both the topics in one video. And the second thing is both the topics have importance. So it is very easy. So directly let's move on to what is the meaning of delegation. Okay, if you see these two pics that I have put here for you, it clearly shows that these uh, top level management or a manager is giving the authority to his subordinates or telling them these are the things that you have to do. So looking into the meaning of delegation, it is a process which refers to transferring of authority from a supervisor or superior to his subordinates. Nothing but top level management giving authority to the subordinates employees to do the job. Why is the, why are they saying it is very important for you to delegate authority because manager is a person who is very capable enough to do the job, but he cannot do all the job by himself. So that is the reason he has to say, give the authority to the uh, subordinates so that they can also learn or they can also do his job and the manager can concentrate on developing himself in other activities or work so that is the reason delegation is important now if you see there are three elements of delegation that is authority responsibility and accountability as i have taught you before itself what is the meaning of authority these uh, this elements of delegation will come as a four marker so it is very easy and it is very important so please mark it and please study it now what is the meaning of authority okay nothing but it is the right to give orders what is authority right to give orders now what is it it's the power to command employees and instruct them to perform a job so who has this authority to command employees and instruct employees definitely your supervisor or the superiors or your top level management have the authority just like your college your college your principal and your teachers have the authority so what is it this authority is flowing from the top level management to the bottom level management uh, i would not say bottom to the lower level management or to the subordinates okay so where the decision making power is there in the hands of the top level Okay, so what is it? If you look at the small triangular diagram, the authority always flows downwards means from top, it's flowing downwards. Okay, now what's the meaning of responsibility? Responsibility, only if you have been given the authority, responsibility is something that comes within you. It arises within you so that you will take the decisions to get the work done and you will ensure that the assigned job is completed like how your manager your team leader your uh, teachers feel that they are responsible in, to teach you and to mold you so that's what is responsibility so what is it it's the obligation of the subordinates to perform the assigned duty it rises from a superior subordinate relationship definitely it is superior subordinate relationship someone who is higher and someone who is lower between them it is a bond which is uh, where, where it arises within them that they have to do the job okay so what is responsibility it's nothing but is the ability to respond to ensure that whatever authority is in given in their hands should be completed okay so moving down to the third element of delegation the third element of delegation is accountability now what is the meaning of accountability accountability means being answerable so please underline for the final result now what have i told you about authority right to give orders what is responsibility you feel that you are responsible enough that the job has to be performed okay so who is now what is uh, accountability it is nothing but you feel answerable for the final result so whatever authority is given to you from the start whatever responsibility is getting developed from you every single day to ensure that 
the job is getting completed so that what you are answerable for the final result this final result can happen probably once in six months performance appraisal should be given to the employees every month you're speaking to the employees on their performance and checking what they where they're going wrong so what is it you are checking and you're tracking and you're uh, telling the uh, employee see this is what is happening you need to be answerable and you are ensuring that you are giving proper reports you have proper proof so what is it it's an obligation to carry out responsibility and give reports about one's performance to the superior so that is what you are doing that's what the team leaders and managers are doing so every time they take the responsibility to check everything to monitor the employees and give that feedback to them and they bridge the gap between the top level and the lower level then authority can be delegated by superior to his subordinates but accountability can never be delegated this will come for a one marker they will ask you can accountability be delegated the answer is no accountability cannot be delegated okay authority can be delegated delegated means it comes from the top level but accountability cannot be delegated it's something that comes within you you feel that i'm accountable to teach the children you feel that i'm accountable to finish my work okay so now moving into the next eight marker importance of delegation learn the points if you learn the points it is very very easy very very simple explanation you can give here okay so the first one you see effective management so what are they telling you if you delegate the authority if the authority is given from the top level management that is managers uh, giving the authority to the subordinates to do their job what is happening the management it becomes very effective to handle the management there is no confusion the manager can concentrate on something else so that is where your important terminology is come here see delegation enables supervisor superiors to underline assign the routine activities to the subordinates so every day job what the manager is doing he can slowly teach that to the team leader and the subject matter expert and they can start doing the job and he can concentrate on other important functions so what is happening the manager's efficiency is increasing okay and the skills of the lower level employees are also increasing and they get to learn new things so that is the importance of delegation very important so what happens to the subordinates they are happy that they are learning new areas their skills and their knowledge is increasing and that will lead to better promotion and better pay of salary the next one employees development who's getting developed here definitely the employees are getting developed why because the manager is delegating his work to his subordinates so who is learning definitely employees are learning their talents are building they are much more motivated to develop themselves so that they can get promoted for a higher job position so all the important terminologies are what their talents motivation develop higher position given opportunity skills talent in gaining excellence in their job what will happen their career prospects will increase okay and this leads to better leadership okay so very simple it is self explanatory the third one is facilitation of growth now who is growing here all the levels are growing here the top level is also growing the middle level is also growing the lower level is also growing why even before you, i have told you already even before you become a manager even before you get promoted as a manager when you are a team leader you are expected to do half the job what a manager is doing so it gives you hands on experience even before you getting promoted so what is happening your manager steps into the shoes of a senior manager and he is doing his job the senior manager's job so what is happening facilitation of growth okay organization is growing the employees are getting trained and experienced enough so that they can handle leading positions and new projects even though they are not promoted so easily you become very self efficient to get promoted okay so what is happening you can handle new projects without any problem so that is the meaning of facilitation of growth 
the fourth point basis of management hierarchy now what is the hierarchy it always refers to the top level middle level and lower level i told you the bigger the organization bigger the uh, hierarchy level is so what is what is happening when you delegate when the manager is giving responsibilities to the subordinates the subordinates will know okay this is my manager this is my team leader this is who my uh, level a is or level b vice president senior vice so what is happening here the subordinate or the employee knows who he has to report to there is no confusion for them because the hierarchy is developed really well okay and it creates chain of superior subordinate relationship so what is happening when a manager is telling a subordinate please complete this work the subordinate will feel yes i am responsible to complete this work let me complete it he would not argue that you are in a different level i am in a different level why should i do it no so what is happening delegation helps the management to ensure that they create a chain of superior subordinate relationship okay and it also helps the subordinates to know who they have to report to the fifth one is better coordination coordination refers to the word called unity integration okay so the elements of delegation namely authority responsibility accountability accountability clearly defines power correct only if you all this is in your hand you have all the power and you are answerable to various departments like your manager is in the finance department if example the human resource people come and ask your manager how many people are left your uh, how many people have, employees have left your team okay your manager is answerable why because he is the manager okay and they all the uh, departments and teams have to work together so that there is coordination among them now who is helping in all this delegation is the one which is helping that means what the information which has been passed from the top level to the lower level that is what is helping all these people to work together and fulfill all the management functions okay so that there's better coordination in the organization the sixth point is quick decision making now who can take quick decisions the subordinates can take quick decisions how can they take quick decisions because the management is the one who is delegating the authority to the subordinates so from time to time the whatever decision small decisions that can be taken the subordinates can take them there's no need for them to wait for their managers and so what happens this will reduce their time for their wait time when the manager will come or when the team leader will come why because authority has been given into their hands so these functions or sorry these importance of delegation it's very very simple now let's move into what is the meaning of decentralization now the meaning of decentralization and importance is the two topics you have here again importance of decentralization is an eight marker please ensure you're studying this meaning of decentralization is a two marker i've included a lot of diagrams so that it's easy for you to remember now if you actually see what is the meaning of decentralization nothing but you are letting the lower level management to take decisions very simple i'll tell you you are letting the lower level management to take decisions you know even in the lower level management there are certain uh, foremanship and workers and superiors all these people who are there who can take they are called as managers in the lower level management so they can actually take decisions in the lower level uh, management okay so that is the meaning of decentralization what is it it refers to dispersal of authority whatever authority you are uh, giving it is flowing from the top level to the bottom level but here you are allowing the lower level to take decisions okay and authority will definitely be there by in the top level organization sorry top level management or organization only but certain authority or certain decision making power can be given to the lower level management okay that is the meaning of decentralization so if you see the diagram what does it say this is centralized means what everything is being taken by the top level but here 
certain things are decentralized means authority or whatever is being decisions is taken everything is being taken by the subordinates at different levels that is what so you see this diagram here also it says one person is taking decision for everybody but here it says everybody unitedly they are taking decisions so that's the meaning of decentralization refers to transfer of authority from the top level organization to the subordinates at the lower level now coming down to the importance of decentralization now why is decentralization very important the first one is quick decision making now let's imagine you have top level mid level lower level all the authority and decision making activity only is in the hands of the top level and the mid level now you tell me who are the real ones who start working in the organization definitely the lower level people so don't you think some decision making authority should be given in the hands of the lower level definitely why because every manager and team leader comes in a different shift time and the subordinates are much more smarter in doing their job and they know what task is right and what work is right or wrong or what decision should be taken in a particular situation so that is the reason the organizations feel that managers are free to make their own decisions within a specific area of task assigned to them and the enterprises and what do they do they enjoy the benefit of quick decision making and decision is taken by the top level management however information gets delayed as the time passes many levels so what are they saying definitely the management is the one who takes half the decisions but by the time you get a solution for your problem it there is a lot of time delay so rather than that if you give the decision making authority to the lower level or to the mid level automatically they will solve all the problem and there is no delay in time so quick decision making refers to time second point is democratic system what is this it doesn't uh, it doesn't mean that just because you are in the top level management you get to decide everything you are in the mid level management you get to decide everything no the lower level management is the one who actually works and does all the real time work so they know what is the problems and what is the advantages or what is the real issues that's coming up in an organization and the managers are also the ones who really know what's happening with their team so what is it they all have to work for all for one and one for all unitedly so what are they saying decentralization shares authority and responsibility between managers it avoids concentration of power that means what it's not just that i am a team leader i am a manager i'm totally in control of the team no you have your subject matter experts you have your senior associates and your associates who you need to communicate ask them what is right and say yes go ahead give it a try and do whatever however you want to do that job and see how it works out so what is it it's a democratic approach towards the management the third one relief to the top management why is decentralization it's a relief reason because it is not centralized all the decision is not lying in the hands of the top level management if all the decisions and authority has to lie in the hands of the top level it becomes very very difficult for the organization to function smallest to smallest problems you need to wait for the top level management to give solutions is it really possible no it is not possible so what is the top level doing they are dispersing of the authorities to the middle level and to the lower level they are saying you are the ones who do the job so please ensure that you are taking authority responsibility you are doing the job and ensuring that it gets done so what is happening they can think about other projects and they can think about uh, checking on different departments so how is it a relief the authority is delegated to the lower levels the top level management is relieved of taking operational decisions operational is work related decisions where the uh, the lower level and the mid level is the ones who really work they can concentrate on corporate planning control and coordinating of different activities in different departments so that's nothing but they can think about new projects which they can bring into the organization and leave the middle level and the lower level to do their jobs the fourth point is incentives to workers so what is happening in decentralization the power is 
uh, get the power is coming down to the hands of the lower level and in the mid level so what is happening here definitely they are doing a good job when they are doing a good job what will happen definitely they will have to get promoted and they have to ensure that they get a lot of incentives and they will become independent and they'll feel very much satisfied when they're coming to do their job why because they have some level of liberty that's given to them in the organization so the incentives to the employees will also increase because they are the ones who uh, do the job so they're moral and they'll feel satisfied and their status in the organization or outside will also improve the fifth one facilitates growth what does this facilitates growth who is growing here definitely the managers at the lower level are growing the managers at the middle level are growing how because they are the ones who are doing the job they are the ones who will get promoted because they are doing their job really good and they are taking correct decisions they are not taking wrong decisions they are taking correct decisions in the organization to ensure that there is a positive spirit and there is growth in the enterprise or in the organization with whatever decisions they are taking if they are going to take wrong decisions then they it the organization will end up become they it will end up losing but these employees are taking the right decision so they are competing with people outside and they are growing so the, there is growth in the enterprise so that's how it facilitates growth the sixth one is development of executives even if you are entering at a, at a level let's say as an associate you are growing how you are growing because every month or every year you are learning a lot of new things it's not that just because you are an associate you're given some amount of work and said no you are at that level only so much you'll do no they are giving you more and more so that you can develop and take your own decisions and so that you will get promoted so what is happening your future also is improving and you and this helps in the development of your individuality as an associate so you will get promoted as a senior associate or as a subject matter expert so that is what is development of executives okay the last one is reduce this workload now how uh, how is it reducing workload definitely it is reducing the workload of the top level management why because the middle level management the managers and the team leaders and the workers are the ones who are actually taking responsibility authority in doing most of the job so what is happening the even the managers work is getting done by the team leader and the subject matter Uh, experts so the manager is also con uh, concentrating on improving different pro getting new projects and he is one among the top level management he is bridging the group both the sides between the top level and the lower level so what is happening his job is not restricted to just being a manager just being a people manager he is developing himself overall as a person so this ensures that he his work workload is getting reduced being a manager where he is developing himself into a new role and all this is only done by decentralization so again i'll remember or remind you what is let's remember what is decentralization nothing but dispersal of authority where your decisions are taken to the lowest levels of the organization where you're giving an opportunity to the lower level to take decisions when it comes to work you're asking them take authority it's only it's not that authority is only taken by the top level but here you're telling them for small issues you take authority by yourself and ensure you're responsible enough to do the job now the last meaning is centralization now centralization is the opposite of decentralization what is the opposite of decentralization all the decision making power lies in the hands of the top level management it is only one manager or two managers or few managers have the authority to uh, centralize the power but mainly most of the decisions are only taken by the top level management so the middle level and the lower level do not have any authority or responsibility to uh, deviate or take authority or responsibility did you all understand i hope you really are able to understand it is very very simple okay again i'll tell you 
decentralization is nothing but dispersal of authority in the hands of many and you're giving the authority to be taken in the hands of the middle level and the lower level but when it comes to centralization you are not letting them take the authority everything is in the hands of the top level management it is very very easy you can please send me any doubts you have please type a question in the comment box or send me a message on my number i will be able to help you out so thank you hope this video is very useful for you and it's a very simple topic thank you